multiplicative property of equality with integers. All right, so multiplicative property has to do with um, solving an, an equation using multiplication and division. So it, we've done one of these where it was the additive property um, of equality with um, integers, and this time we're multiplying. So in this case, and I'm going to write this one over here because it's a little nicer to see it bigger. So we have this equation here like this. So what this means is 2 times w equals negative 14. Sorry, negative 2 times w equals four, negative 14. So what we want to do is we want to undo this multiplication because we want to get this w all by itself. That's always our goal when we're solving an equation. And an equation just means that it has an equal sign. So one of the main things we want to do here is get that w by itself. And remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, and we think of an equation as um, one side is the left side of the equal sign, and then the right side of the equal sign. That's what I mean by sides. So to undo the multiplications happening to this w, I need to divide by the same number that's being multiplied. And if I do that to the left side, I have to do that to the right side. I have to keep it balanced. So negative 2 divided by negative 2. Any number divided by itself cancels out. Um, and then by cancels out, I mean it becomes 1. It doesn't become 0. In multiplication and division, it becomes 1. So then we just bring w down. We don't have to put 1w. If you just put w, it's assumed it's, it's 1w. You only have one of them there. Equals negative 14 divided by negative 2. So when you're multiplying or dividing and you have two negatives, you get a positive. So now that we know it's going to be positive, we can deal with the numbers. 14 divided by 2, we get 7. So that's exactly what they got right here. So this is the, the property we're going to undo either multiplication or division. So let's clear this. And let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so we have negative 46 equals negative v divided by 6. All a fraction means is division. That's it. Um, a lot of students stress out a little bit about the division or the fraction sign, but that's it's just a, a different way to write division. That's it. All right, so remember we have two signs to the equal sign. So whatever we do to one side, we need to do to the other. And the whole goal here is to get the variable, whatever the variable is, in this case it's a v, we want to get it by itself. So what we want to do is undo whatever is being done to it. In this case, it's being divided by 6. And we can actually put this negative down here, so it's, it's negative 6. So we can take the, the whole thing all together. A negative can actually migrate, so I can write it like this. I can write it like this, which is the way it's written here, or I can write it like this. So as long as the, there's only one negative, it can actually migrate around just a little bit for however it is you need it. Uh, so if this is being divided by negative 6, I want to multiply by negative 6 because multiplication undoes division. And I did that to the right side, so I need to do that to the left side here. So I'm multiplying by negative 6. So two negatives in multiplication become a positive. So now we just need to figure out what is 46 in here. I'll write it over here. 46 times 6. So we have 36, because 6 times 6 is 36. And then we have 24. 6 times 4 is 24. And then add 3 more, so you get 27. So I get 270 equals, and when I undid the, the division here, so it's negative 6 divide, positive 6 multiply. Those cancel out to become 1. Any number divided by itself is 1. And then the v just drops down because it would be 1v, but I don't, again, just like in the example, I don't have to put a 1 in front of it. If you just drop the v down, it's assumed that it's 1v. So unless there's another number in front of it, you only have to do it if it's if it's 2v, you have to bring the 2 with it. But if it's just a 1v, you can just write v, okay? So we're going to write 276. And check. All right, we're good.
Let's go ahead and do the next one. All right, so we have x divided by negative 7. And I went ahead, when I rewrote this, I just put the negative 7 on the bottom here. And I accidentally touched the board there. Didn't mean to. Equals 27. Okay, so remember, we want to get this x all by itself. This time our variable is an x. And we have two sides of the equal sign. So I'm dividing by negative 7. To undo division, I multiply by the same number. And if I did that to the left side, I have to do it to the right side. Negative 7 times, negative 7 divide. Any number divided by itself becomes 1. And I can just drop that x right down in the, in the equal down also. So now I just need to know 27 times negative 7. There's only one negative, so I know my answer will be negative. But I need to know what is 27 times 7. So I have 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4 more is 18. So I have 189. And I know it's negative again because it was 1 negative times a positive. All right, so I have negative 189. Check. All right, one more. So we have negative 27 equals negative 3v. And again, two sides of the equal sign. And we're trying to get this v by itself. That's always our goal. Whatever the variable is, doesn't matter what the letter is, the goal is always to get it by itself. So we want to undo this multiplication. Remember when they're being squished together, it means multiplication. So negative 3 times v. To undo multiplication, I divide. If I divide on the right side, I have to divide on the left. All right, so let's deal with this. So we have negative and negative and division. So we know our answer is going to be positive. Because two, two negatives make a positive. 27 divided by 9 is 3. Equals, so we bring down the equal sign, and now we have negative 3 divided by negative 3. Any number divided by itself becomes 1. And we just drop our V straight down. All right, let's do this last one here. And we're good to go. We finished another one. Yay.